Welcome back to Knowledge Hyven, where we believe knowledge is a service and sharing it empowers all of us. I'm your host, I'm Lisa Sims. I'm the CEO of Knowledge Hive. And today we're exploring the next great transformation in leadership, one powered by artificial intelligence. This episode is called The Executive's New Playbook, AI-Powered Leadership. And the reason for that is because right now, in real time, a new era of leadership is emerging one where decisions are informed by algorithms, guided by ethics, and driven by foresight. The question isn't whether AI will change leadership. It already has. The question is, are today's executives ready to learn and make the shift with it? So let's start with what's happening in the corner office. The rise of AI has given birth to a new generation of leadership roles titles that didn't even exist a few years ago. So some examples are chief AI officer, head of AI transformation, and AI governance leadership or AI governance executive. They sound so futuristic, but these roles are becoming as essential as chief financial officers. These leaders are not just managing technology, they're building the philosophy of AI, connecting data, ethics, and strategy in ways that redefine corporate power structures. In forward-thinking organizations, the chief AI officer isn't just there to automate people out of jobs. Their role is to translate between humans and algorithms and data to make sure that AI serves a purpose, not just random performance. And then there's the head of AI transformation. That role is really the bridge between traditional business units and next generation intelligence systems. These are the people orchestrating culture change, helping employees understand that AI isn't competition, it's actually collaboration. And then finally, the AI governance leads are rising as the conscience of the enterprise. They ask the questions every boardroom should be asking. Are we using data responsibly? Are our algorithms that we're implementing fair? What happens when the machines do things that humans can't fully explain? This is what modern leadership looks like, not command and control, but coordination and conscience. Let's talk about the C-suite of the future because it's already here. AI has moved from being a tech experiment to being a strategic partner in decision-making. Imagine this, instead of waiting for quarterly reports, a leadership team can now run live simulations, testing how a policy, a price shift, or a supply chain decision might ripple across the market or the organization before they actually put it into action. Executives can model risk, forecast outcomes, and uncover patterns invisible to the human eye. This is what's trans transforming industries, not automation, but augmentation. Companies using AI as a strategic ally are seeing measurable results, higher productivity, faster time to market, and stronger adaptability during economic turbulence. But here's the critical point. AI doesn't replace leadership judgment, it refines it. It gives executives a richer landscape of data, but leaders still have to interpret all of the things that are being presented to them and their values, because data may tell you what can be done, but really only leadership can decide what should be done. So the new executive skill set is really kind of changing and people are having to adapt. So what does it take to be a leader in an AI first world? Three strategic skills find the leaders who will thrive in this new landscape. The first one is AI literacy. Executives don't need to learn how to code, but they do need to comprehend. That means understanding what data drives a business, how algorithms make predictions, and where bias might creep in. AI literate leaders know enough to ask the right questions, and that's often more powerful than having all of the answers down in the weeds. The number two is ethical AI deployment. This is a critical step in AI adoption at an executive level, so I'm going to spend a little more time on this particular skill set. 
Because when it comes to ethics and AI, the executive suite isn't just a stakeholder, it's the steering wheel. The question isn't if ethics should be part of an AI strategy, it's who owns it. Increasingly, that ownership sits squarely with the top leaders of the organization. And here's why. AI doesn't just automate processes, it encodes values. So every algorithm reflects a series of human decisions, what data gets included, which outcomes are optimized, and whose description of success are built into the system. So ethical AI deployment begins long before a line of code is written. It starts in the boardroom with leadership setting clear principles for how technology aligns with the company's purpose. Executives play three critical roles in that process. First, they're the architect of values. As an executive, your job is to define what responsible AI means inside of your organization and make it part of your corporate DNA. That means leveraging an AI ethics charter that's not just a compliance document, but a guiding philosophy. It should define how your company uses data, how it protects privacy, and how it ensures transparency and automated decisions. Executives also must champion these publicly. Ethical leadership today is not about secrecy, it's about accountability at scale, especially as AI grows within the organization. The second responsibility is sponsorship of oversight. Even the most well-intentioned AI systems can drift. That's why executives must build oversight mechanisms, not just technical, but organizational. And that includes creating cross-functional AI governance boards that include voices from legal, compliance, HR, and even the customer experience. Funding internal audit programs that review algorithm impact, bias, and fairness and establishing escalation channels where employees can flag ethical concerns without fear of retaliation. This isn't a bureaucracy, it's literally a stewardship. And when leaders sponsor oversight, they make ethics operational, not optional. The third item is being the cultural catalyst. Perhaps the most overlooked part of ethical AI is culture. Executives have the unique power to shape how employees think about AI, not as something mysterious, but as something shared and beneficial to the business. That means modeling transparency and decision-making. When leaders talk openly about how AI tools are to be used in the business and when they're not, it sets the tone for psychological safety and ethical curiosity throughout the company. And culture flows downward when executives normalize discussions about bias, data sourcing, and unintended consequences. Those conversations really tend to spread through every team, project, and product. The truth is, no AI system is entirely neutral, but leaders can make sure it's intentional. Ethical AI deployment isn't a one-time initiative, it's a living practice that evolves with every new technology, every data set, and every executive decision. Executives who take that responsibility seriously will not only protect their companies, they'll learn something far rarer in the age of automation, trust. And then the third thing is data-driven foresight. AI allows leaders to see trends before they fully form. But foresight isn't just about prediction, it's about preparation. True strategic foresight means knowing how to pivot early, invest wisely, and adapt the culture just as fast as the technology evolves. When leaders combine these three, literacy, ethics, and foresight, they're not just managing AI, they're mastering the art of modern leadership. So what is the future of the executive suite? The next decade will really define the very architecture of the executive suite. We'll see AI not as a side function, but as a foundational layer beneath every business decision. Every C-suite member from marketing to finance will need to be fluent in data, automation, and algorithmic accountability. Alongside that, new human-centric roles will rise, leaders focused on creativity, culture, and emotional intelligence. Because as AI scales logic, humanity must also scale empathy. 
the companies that succeed will be the ones that treat AI not as a machine in the corner, but as a partner in their progress. The future of leadership isn't about who controls the technology, it's about who can guide it ethically, intelligently, and creatively. That's all for this episode of Knowledge Hyven. The AI revolution isn't coming for leadership, it's calling to it. And the leaders who answer that call with curiosity, courage, and clarity will be the ones who define the next generation of business. If today's episode got you thinking about how AI is reshaping the way we lead, share it with your team, your friends, or your board members. And if you are a business that needs the type of individuals I've been talking about today to help you move your AI journey forward, or if you are one of those people that we have been talking about, we would love to help you and we would love to have you on the knowledgehive.co platform. Knowledge Hive is an on-demand marketplace for top-tier professionals who are willing to share what they know with others who need their expertise. So if you're looking for help, like we've been talking about, you're a seeker. And if you're offering that help, you're a hiver. Again, I'm Lisa Sims. And remember, in an AI-powered world, leadership isn't about knowing everything. It's about knowing how to learn faster than the change around you. I'd love to hear your freelance or consulting journey stories or put your thoughts and comments on this topic below. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or at knowledgehive.co. New episodes drop every week, so don't forget to subscribe, ring the dang bell, you know the drill. And if you haven't already, go create a free profile on knowledgehive.co. Also, if you've got a question or a topic you'd like for me to cover, drop it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to review those and try and get them out. Until next time, we are Knowledge Hive, and we are Knowledge as a Service.